Hey everyone, welcome to another Indie Bin. This is Citizen Sleeper. Let's, uh... Let's check this one out, because I've been wanting to since it was shown off at, what was it, E... Well, I guess not E3, it would have been the summer game thing. Um, back last year, year before... And since then, since it's come out a couple days ago, I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, so. Uh, operator extractor. I like. Oh, no, that's. I didn't mean to. Mechanist, okay. Okay, so mechanist, operator, or extractor. I keep accidentally clicking back, or right clicking. I like the designs of these two the most. I'm gonna go with a mechanist, or mechanist, mechanist? I don't know. Anyway. Let's uh let's go check this out. The first thing you become aware of on waking is the disconnect, the delay between thinking and feeling, between wanting to act and acting. Minor, almost imperceptible, but always present. It's at its worst when waking when yourself has spent many dark hours recalling what it felt like to be real, to be a person, to be in a body that was indisputably yours. You resist nostalgia. It's pointless, especially now. This is the moment to reach out, not to curl in words. This is your moment of escape, even if it feels immediately like you traded one prison for another, smaller, colder, lifeless. Reach out. You almost laugh, or you would if there was room, or even air, to do so. The walls of the container are immediately present. Cold, hard, at your back and face, cramping your limbs. Resist the desire to stretch, knowing that the claustrophobia comes next, and retreat a little from your central nervous system. It isn't painful, not like you used to know pain at least. In emergency mode, pain is a message delivered with efficiency and ease, a reminder that harm is imminent. There is no insistent throb, no trembling nerves, just a warning delivered with the banal quality of digital notification. Right now, there are thousands of them. You remember there were ten of you, ten that can no longer stand the indentured work, the routines, the slow decay, ten whose belief in their promised future was slowly dismantled day by day, until they realized they had sold away everything they could and would ever matter. Ten that would escape or at least die trying. Some were lost in the shaft, others never found the meeting point. Only a few made it to the containers, but the freighter, as far as you know, left. That feels like enough, enough to know that you might no longer be on the grim and heartless rock. Even if in the airless hold of a freighter, you might freeze solid long before they reach any destination. Try to rest. But you are restless. It has been a long time since you left, surely weeks, maybe months. You are dully aware of damage to your legs, your right arm. You have been reserving energy as much as possible, but even then your body has shut down men You have been reserving energy as much as possible, but even then your body has shut down many of its systems to protect you. You have been reserving energy as much as possible, but even then your body has shut down many of its systems to protect you. You have spent much of that time asleep and knowing that anything else would be impossible to endure. Feel the weight of that impossibility to begin to gather. It is time to sleep again, to nudge this false body into inducing delta waves in your emulated mind, and once again recoil into a dream of when you were once a person. Rest. Time passes. The cold creeps further in. Feel something. Warmth. Not true warmth, but the indication of its presence. Your joints release from their rigor. Sound, too, everywhere. Screeching and shimmering so loud that your body ducks your hearing to protect its sensors. 
then light, white as the cold, then softer and softer until in a haze of dirty yellow a figure appears. You are out. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, this is cool. It's been a few hours since Dragos pulled you from the container. You sit huddled in a corner of his scrapyard, swaddled in the re re uh, the reflective folds of Mylar blanket. You are slowly coming back to consciousness, back to life. You stare at your ornately curving element of at the ornately curving element of an impre improvised heater. You are surrounded by angular, incoherent lumps of ships, some corroded beyond recognition, others still carrying glassy wounds along their edges where plasma arcs slice them apart. As you trace their shapes with fogged eyes, you hear a voice. So, sleeper, you all thawed yet? Almost. Never seen one of you come out like this. New frames must have been better preserved in Sub-Zero Vac. Seen more than a few, you froze solid to whole plates or inside outer locks in my time. They weren't so lucky. Dragos comes into focus, shrouded in makeshift tech, his headset with its glinting eyes, the mark of a drone operator. On his shoulder, one of his symbiotically linked drones perches, its iris eye locking, locking you with an unflinching stare. Last living sleeper that came through this yard a while ago, it didn't last long. Try to read his expression beneath the tech, but he seems lost in memory for a moment. Perhaps he is just figuring out what to do with you. I plan to survive. I'm not sure if he hears you. I won't ask what you led to do it. I won't ask what led you to do it, to sell yourself to a corporation. I suppose you know you can't go back. Your old body, that's theirs now. And you are just software. Rogue emulation, illegally possessing corporate property. You nod along. You remember biometrically signing the forms, the cold floor at your feet as you padded, as you padded to the sleeper cells, the promise of life off-world. But as you do, you get the now familiar sensation that these aren't your memories. These are things you know, but not things you feel. You are no longer that person. You are an offshoot. A copy. What you won't know is what's head. At least the last one did there's no easy way to put it. The body of yours has fallen apart. It's the same for any sleeper who makes it out. SNR wants to protect their property, but if they can't keep a hold of you, well, then no one can. Remember that too, or at least the rumors of it from the other sleepers. Planned obsolescence. Built in dependency on the regularly administered supplements that were part of your routine. Stop taking them, your body begins to shut down. Separate from your emulated mind? How long has it been? How long do you have? But for now, sleeper, you are one of the lucky ones. Dragos glanced up and down towards the glassy dome of the yard. The eye is the best place you can be right now. The station. You'll see soon enough. Dragos impatiently shifts his weight. Look, I've got things to be getting on with, he trails off. There's an old freighter can an old freight container I've been using as storage out in those stacks. We haven't been pulling in much valuable valuable scrap these days, so you're welcome to it. Something wells up inside of you. Emotion. Fatigue. You shakily get to your feet. Alright, you head up there. You look like you need some rest. With that, Dragos walks back to the wrecks, his drone already converging on rusting, a rusting hulk. Plasma flashes silhouetting his spindly figure as he returns to work. Okay, so... Erlene's Eye. Life on the Eye runs in cycles, during which you can talk to characters, explore areas of the station, and perform actions. At the end of each cycle, you need to head to your current home to rest. Resting will move time forward on the station. Head to the empty container. Okay, so it's a visual novel. Man. Alright, yeah, let's head to the container and go rest for a little bit. Look up curled in the corner of the container and you begin to slowly assemble the world around you. After all this time, you still find the body, the one you wake in now, strange and disjointed. Its message is unreadable, but somehow wrong. Its message is readable, but somehow wrong. You sit up and pull the mylar blanket close against the cold. Here you are on this ruined station, millions of miles from anyone you know. Are you still in the system? 
did any of the others make it out? It's impossible to know. After all this, what matters? Building a life. Maybe you get, did get lucky, find yourself here. Maybe here, on the edge of everything, there's a life for you to build. But before you can build anything, you'll need to learn to survive. Maybe you can do that, you can make a life for yourself. Dragos has left a few comforts in the container. The Mylar blanket, the bedroll you slept on, a canister of water, makeshift electric stove, and some faded satchels of desiccated powder. You thumb the power stud on the stove and begin to boil the water. The contents of the satchels smell like damp wood and you sprinkle them into the liquid. A sponge of small washes over you, which is your restless sleep come back to you. A ring, like the station, but skeletal and ghostly. A web of threads pulling at your skin. A constellation of bright polygonal shapes, like the angular sun, burns in your mind. There's something unpleasantly visceral about these images. And it, is, and it is long after you finish drinking that they begin to fade. You tidy away the stove as best you can and try to gather enough energy to greet the day. Alright, we'll do a little bit and then we'll be done just because, holy shit, there's a lot. This game already looks goddamn amazing. Condition represents the current state of your artificial body. Okay, action dice and energy bar. Got it. Okay. Greg is stood in the corridor when you close up the container. He's still wearing his headset and in the harsh light of the corridor he has it's implanted. The drone sits on his shoulder. Cash of ice is rapidly rising. How are you feeling? Okay. Drone chirps. Good to hear. You notice that beneath the operator's rig, his skin is bur marked by burns and blotches. No container isn't much, but it'll keep you safe. So, I'm not going to chit-chat too long. Are you well enough to work? Work? Look, I'll be honest with you, sleeper. I didn't pull you out of the container out of the goodness of my heart. At the yard, it's simple stuff. We hack these old holes down, sell them off to the shipyards or the bright market dealers for cryo. Occasionally we pull out some tech, something with a bit more value, but most of what comes in is scrap. Hard to find good hands here, but I figure as a sleeper you'd be used to the manual labor. And obviously I'll slip you a few chits of, uh, of commission base and what, what you turn up. That's fine by me. Shuffles fees nervously. Look, I normally wouldn't I wouldn't usually do this. In my opinion, you'd be best suited moving on as quickly as you can. Sleeper as well. He trails off. But things being the way they are for me at the yard, I need the help. Okay, he pauses, thinking of something else to add. Look, just come down to the yard when you're feeling fresher. There's plenty to do. Alright. He nods distractedly and turns and walks away, the drone hopping ahead along ahead of him. See you later, he calls back. Looks like it's time to get to work. Okay. Let's go to Drago's yard. We'll, uh... Okay. So we're gonna go with, um... This, because we have a... Pretty good chance of... Doing this because we have engineer skill. Okay. Well, uh, I hope. Okay, risky or safe, but we have plus one to engineer, so we should be okay. Let's go. Uh, actions often progress. Clocks. Clocks are... Okay, so we've got a... Random scrap item plus a perk. Uh, let's... Let's just pull as much as we can from here. Oh, okay. You'll unlock drives as you discover more about yourself in the world. Drives guide you into pursuing specific subject uh, objectives, depending on which one. Okay. So now we have a yellow marker for that drive. Free to explore the eye. Okay. I kind of want to fix this for him first. So 
So I'm gonna burn all my die on this and try to fix, uh, fix up the back in business thing first before we do anything else. All right, cool. We finished that. Um, we have no more actions. Let's go talk to Dragos, though. Arrive into a buzz of activity at the yard. Red blinking lights flash across a vast dark shape suspended below the dome. They flicker across the scorched hull plates and bent structures, spilling from holes in the twisted shape. The cutter is huge and has been torn apart in some violent encounter. Muted, isn't she? Dragos stands to the side, focused on the hulking ships that lowered it. She is. I should thank you. So he's on his last leg when you turned up. Now look at this. The ship descends slowly, its interior visible through multiple hull breaches. Struggle to gather the same enthusiasm as Dragos has for this monstrous craft. Can't help but think of what became of the crew. What happened? What do you mean? He glances at you. I managed to convince our salvager friends to give it, me, give it to me on credit. That's what happened. No, what happened to the ship? Not my concern, he shrugs. The ship creaks like a calving iceberg as it, as it reaches the base of the yard. Dragos is visibly excited. I know I said you shouldn't stick around, but I'm going to need some help with this one. Jones started crawling over the hulk, their lights illuminating flashes of dented hull. Watching, you wonder if you arrived in a similar fashion, locked inside that container. The wreck of the Essen Arp freighter lowered onto the yard like a corpse ready to be butchered. Or was the container delivered Dragos on its own, a wound for your rebirth in this strange station? You shudder. Perhaps if you could learn as something about this ship, you might be able to trace the path that led you to this yard. Greg, squeeze your shoulder. After these past cycles, I think we're up for it. What do you think? You see the fading name of the ship ablaze on the side. Winter light. Let's do it. Claps on the back. Good to hear. Come back in a few. We can get started. A real beauty, Dragos repeats. Perhaps just to himself. You take one last look at the shattered ship as the drones start cutting and slip out of the yard. Sud feeling suddenly cold in the empty passage. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we have the shipyard to go to. And we complete our first drive. Each drive completed and unlocks the upgrade point, and we can put that into our character. Which, let's uh, see about doing that. Um, oh, we can't do that, damn. Okay, yeah, cryo seems to be a good thing to get, so let's... Cryo seems to be money. Oh, okay, these are the two upgrade point ones. Got it. All right. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, God, there's so much to do. But I'm going to leave that here. Um, there's so much to look at. This game is on Game Pass. Get it there, get it on Steam, get it on Epic, wherever. It's... 20 bucks. Let me take a look really quick to see what Citizen Sleeper is because I never remember to look it up. I never remember to put it in the thing. So, what is Citizen Sleeper? Citizen Sleeper is currently $18. It's normally $19.99. So, yeah. Go give this a look. This is, this is already awesome. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.